Okay, so a few things. Obviously, I got a haircut, as you can tell. Cool. Now that we covered that, I am getting lash extensions. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'll update after. Been a lot of crazy stuff. I've been behind, but it's okay. So we'll see how this goes. So here's the end result. I don't know why I was trying to show you my hair, but as you can see, as I make a weird face, how much already longer they look and just kind of, it already looks like I have makeup on, but this is literally no makeup except for some lip balm and my regular skincare. So definitely worth it. Um, it does take a lot of time. You have to be super patient, which I'm okay with. Um, definitely interested to see how this goes. So this is my first ever set of lash extensions and just kind of gonna see how this goes and stuff. So I guess we will see how it goes. And then, yeah, as you can see, like they're super full, they're super long. So yay, so exciting. But yeah, so hopefully I will be posting more often besides this. Um, and I'll probably do an in-depth video of whenever I do maybe a refill and kind of show that process and stuff so people can kind of see. So definitely super long process but if you're willing to wait I think it's definitely worth it. Um, but like I said we'll see kind of how these next few weeks go and get an update from there. So I am very sick because <laughs> spring break means time to get sick um but in the update on my lashes i didn't have a chance to film the fill-in so i'll probably do that the next time around um but i finally got a fill-in again and it's not too bad i didn't really show too much of i don't think i did anything of about a week or the week or the second week of having them um but as you can tell they look pretty great um it's been a couple of days now since I've got them filled in. They're super nice, still super full, um, no issues. I mean, it's pretty simple procedure. Um, it does take a lot of time, um, but if it's something you're interested in and kind of really wanting to invest that money in, either some type of like treatment or things like that, I think this is definitely a better route than having to spend a lot of extra money on makeup and kind of just different beauty products. Um, so yeah, so I definitely recommend it if you're looking for something like that. It's made my life much easier. Um, it's just wake up, maybe brush them out a little bit and kind of just pretty much go. Um, I haven't really worn any makeup lately, just very plain faced. Um, lip balm things like that but nothing crazy and it's just it's very simple and they're comfortable enough because I know people have concerns about whether or not they can do them with if you have glasses um, my glasses are pretty thick I would say um, but no issues they don't they're not like falsies where I know there's quite a few adhesive falsies that are so thick and um, the strip is just so dense with lashes on it that it makes it you can literally feel your eyes blink because you can feel the lashes hit against your glasses um, and just kind of your frames and either your frames or your actual lens I haven't had any issues with that just because this is a lot more of a natural look and it's nothing excessive in a sense um, so I don't find that my la the lashes are pushing up against my glasses or my lenses at all, which is a lot more manageable and it's a lot easier to just wear my glasses a lot more because I don't have to worry about if I do my makeup, well then I'd have to wear my contacts, things like that. Um, so like I said, it is an investment I would say, but if you're willing to do it, it definitely does cut back your spending on a lot of other types of products you may get in not having this done in a sense so 
it, it does cost a lot and it's definitely, it's definitely something you should really think about before you do it um, because you know you will have to go in routinely every two two to four weeks to get them filled in again um, but even when they're not filled in they don't look bad they don't look um, kind of like spotty and I know some people are afraid of having not having the time to get them re like filled in when they need to and what I found is even when they're getting kind of like sparse sparse um, just they're not as dense and as even um, you don't really have that issue of it looking silly <laughs> if that makes any sense hopefully but it definitely still it still looks fine it just kind of looks like you have a very thin uh, or a very like a few coats of mascara on um, so you will lose some of the lashes like you would your normal lashes but even if you don't have the time right away to get them filled in you're not gonna look like a mess um, and I guess the best way to compare it to is sometimes when people get um, smaller lash strips and the more sectional ones put in if they get those and you'll notice when one falls out because it just it looks odd um, at least in my experience I haven't had that issue of if my extensions are shedding and kind of you know going through their natural cycle I don't have that issue where it looks odd that there seems to be something missing on my eyes um so hopefully that kind of helps people who may have that concern of having kind of an odd look to their eyes you really won't it'll just look um usually when you get them done so th it just looks like i have a really great mascara on um and i'm okay with that it doesn't necessarily look like they're like false lashes I mean they could in a sense depending on how you look at them but yeah I mean it definitely worth it in a sense so if you're looking at getting lash extensions I'd highly recommend it um, but definitely still think about it if it's something you're not 100% set on do your research kind of just look into it and make sure you're open to different styles because you might be set on a certain type of style you want um, like the beautician to do but it might not look the way you want it to look <clears throat> so definitely just kind of be open and look at the different um, kind of styles that you can get done the style that I have been getting is just the more wide awake look which is it fills up my eyes and it does make me look more awake even when I look like I'm sick and dying I look decent <laughs> um, so just kind of definitely look at the different styles that they have and really think of what kind of look you're going for because I know some people like to get them very, um, not overdone, but kind of, you know, go that little extra mile with them and really get that dense look where it does look like they have falsies on. Um, that's personally something I didn't feel like doing just because I wanted something easy to maintain and just something that I don't look excessively done up. Um, so just look into that beforehand and hopefully this next time around when I get a fill in in probably the next two three weeks I'll go ahead and film that just so you, you can get an idea of what the process is like because it does take time and you have to be okay with that process so hopefully next video will have that in it um, but this has been my experience so far so this is already my first fill-in and they still look really good um yeah I have no complaints about them I really like them um but again you know do your research on this and don't just do it because everyone else is doing it do this because you want to um but yeah so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and hopefully I'll get another video up soon of what a fill-in process looks like and yeah because it's very similar to what the normal first um like getting that first initial set is it's pretty much the same process except it takes a lot less time um so hopefully i will get that up and done in the next couple weeks and yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up comments questions things like that leave that down below and i will look into it all right thanks